so he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. We could always see the stars, we just never could reach them, no matter how high we build. No place better than Trapper Shingle for learning to tread light and shoot straight. Trappers had to tread real careful here, else take a nasty fall. They train themselves by clearing out the targets while not clearing out the floor. Most trappers couldn't get through without a few scrapes. Any good trapper knows never to take a step till the time is right. Decent trapper wouldn't walk away empty handed. To think a rickety place like the Shingle survived, when so little else did. The Hanging Gardens. Folks used to go here to relax from their relaxing. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees a plain, frozen faces all around. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. There was someone like him. Kid sees him there agape in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions, after all. Just ain't got time for answers. The Tundra Brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. 
nor did the bird boy. Didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Sr., Grady Jr., they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survived as well. And then, what do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go, please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home too, far to the east. Zolf offers to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Well, look what we have here. Here, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. The valediction, just another one of my sketches, nothing more. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. That cinder brick fort where the marshals used to watch over the city. There's Pith Orchard, built in honor of the bull, and folks like Zolf who pray to him. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Kid says a little prayer anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. 
Well, the gods are long gone now. And the orchard core is long gone too. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. just yet. ain't gonna catch you if you fall. <laughs> Pith Orchard. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Pith stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. Pith makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Then Pith lights up like a rodeo. Ain't easy punching through his hide. Kid breaks him to bits. Must have been guarding that shrine. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods? Or tell them off? Kid don't need favors from the likes of Piv. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Popping 
windbags is hard enough. No need to get the gods involved. It ain't about to sacrifice himself for the likes of Pith. Things might have gone worse if Kid had tampered with that shrine. Kid ain't found a core, but at least he found Zolf's precious shrine. Now we can build a shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. <laughs> 